I was born in Birmingham, Alabama on January the 28th, 1922. Cool. And a bouncing baby girl. Cool. <laughs> and when did you come to Pittsburgh? I came to Pittsburgh in 1949. Cool. And and why? Why did you come to Pittsburgh? I met a I met my husband in St. Louis and he lived in Pittsburgh, so I came to Pittsburgh. Cool. And what what did you do for a living? I was a school teacher. Cool. And where at in what grade? I had several grades, but I was in different cities, but I finally retired in Pittsburgh. And how did you like teaching? I loved it. All, cool. of, all of my play was, when I was coming up, I always had to be the teacher. <laughs> so if there are some, uh, some highlights of your life in the last hundred years, what, what, what do you think about the, the happiest moments? Well, Growing up, I had a happy environment, a very strict environment, but it was a very happy, healthy, wholesome environment with five brothers. And uh, to further my education and to gain as much knowledge in everything. And then later I joined the uh, Fraternal Circle, the Order of Eastern Star. The Daughters of Isis, which I am a past president of each one, and a life member of both of them. I have worked as public relations for my Eastern Star, Deborah Grand Chapter, Order of Eastern Star, State of Pennsylvania. Also public relations directors. So what's the, what's the secret to, to live to 100 years old? I took very good care of myself during my younger days, and I can contribute that to most of it. Eating good, wholesome food, um, not indulging in things that I knew would be harmful. If there is a message that you would give today's youth, what would you tell them? Stay on the right track. Obey your parents, as the Bible says. Honor your father and your mother, and your days will be long. Uh, enjoy life to, this, to its fullest. Choose your friends carefully. Be a good Christian be involved in community affairs and treat others as you would want them to treat you. Cool. So what do you do nowadays? What do you do? Uh, I'm do retired you? now. Yeah. What do you do for fun? For fun? Yes, ma'am. Uh, that is somewhat limited. I go to affairs occasionally, banquets or parties occasionally, but since the virus I have limited my activities with socializing. Mm -hmm. I do uh, my meetings uh, by conference calls twice a month. Okay. Cool. I have several phone calls during the week. Keeps me abreast, keeps me laughing with little jokes. <laughs> So how do, you, how do you feel about uh, where we were 100 years ago during, uh, in race relations in, in this country to where we are right now? Um, surely the day will come and there is no number or timing or um, timeline to it, but you have to be patient and wait. You can't rush success mm -hmm. success will come when it's due i'm proud of the achievements accomplishments that have been made in stride but there i think will be more to come as i may not see it but i can uh, assume that it will come if you just wait on time 
camping. Yes, ma'am. So how, how do you how do you feel about everybody celebrating your hundredth birthday? You never know how people feel about you until such things as this: um, the warmth, the love, respect that I have received has been overwhelming and a very joyous occasion. Cool. Surprisingly, it shows the love that you have for each other. And love comes in many ways. However, the word love is misused. But I've had all the loving I think a person could have or ask for. And it's how you treat your fellow man. You talk about eating wholesome food and, and, and keeping care of yourself. What, what's some of your favorite foods? <laughs> I, I don't dislike too many foods, but I prefer vegetables, poultry, fish. Mm. A little bit of wine occasionally. So if there's something that you would tell everybody uh, in the country, what would you tell them? Think wisely, choose wisely, act wisely, speak carefully, and do not forget the supreme remember the good things in life, improve upon the bad things. Be influential, be a model, yeah. cool. <laughs> thanks for watching the video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so I can bring you more videos on subjects like this and many other topics. Please leave any comments in the in the comment section. Any questions or comments, I'll get back to them as soon as I possibly can. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.